Hello everyone and welcome back to Deep Sky Derelicts. Now we're going to do this one as a let's try and if you missed the uh, the overview video where I kind of explain all the basics of the game, um, you can check that out. Oh, I'll put a, I'll try to put a link like right up here for you. So if you want to go check out the overview video and then come back to this for more gameplay or whatever you want to do. But in any case, welcome, welcome, welcome. So Deep Sky Derelicts, just very briefly, is a uh, strategy roguelike sci-fi game with card-based combat, turn-based combat actually, with RPG elements. So without further ado, let's jump into the campaign. Okay, let's see. Now we're met with our potential crew. We will name the crew our proper name, the Malcontents. Okay, and then we're gonna go with, a. we've got Bruiser, Tech, Medic, Leader, Scrapper, Tracker. I think we're gonna do Leader. And I wanna mess around with some different stuff this time. I think I'm gonna do... Maybe Leader... Hmm... Leader Scrapper Tracker. You're like, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Mal, well, what are these different classes? Well, these different classes have different abilities and they have different stats, as you can see here. But if you want more detailed information about that, and I'll talk about it as we go along, then go check out that aforementioned overview video, which is the first video in this playlist. Um, but I will. I'll be talking about this stuff as we go along. So don't don't sweat that. Don't sweat that. OK, so for names, we're going to use folks from our Patreon key supporters list. So let's see, leader, that's going to be Ed. And then let's get a bruiser, somebody that can tank for us. That's going to be we. And then somebody that can fight or give us some utility. Oh, uh, yeah, let's try scrapper then. OK, and. That's going to be Anne. Well, actually, we'll use. There we go. Empress. OK, now let's change this photo because that doesn't really match, does it? Oh, that looks cool. All right, that'll work. And then for the bruiser. Here, I'll just cycle through the porches for you real quick. Where's this guy right? Yeah, we'll use this guy. He looks bruiserish. Okay, and then for the leader, uh, it's eh. a cool looking portrait. Oh, that looks okay. That'll work. All right, so we've got Ed, our leader, we are Bruiser, and Empress, our Scrapper. All right, let's start. Yes, new save. All right, give me the quick rundown. So essentially what the sub governor here is telling us is that if we help him collect this information from these derelicts, these giant space hulks um, that allow them to access the quote unquote mothership, then we will earn a life of luxury uh, and bliss off this dreary um, station. Um, kind of like that, that movie Elysium, right? Where they're on Earth and it kind of sucks and everybody wants to live on the, that really nice Elysium station. It would be like us getting to go to Elysium, essentially. So, all right. So we've got Deep Sky Medical where we can heal up when we're done with our, our missions. We've got the layer over here where we can pick up contracts to earn money. And we've got the pawn shop where we can sell stuff and buy stuff, obviously. And then the shuttle right here will take us to the various derelicts that we have open to us. So let's take a look at the PDA here. Everything is in the PDA, so just clicky there. And you've got a crew tab, an inventory tab, mission log, and then scanner works only when you're on the derelict itself, but we'll we'll get into that. So uh, now this is the part that may be confusing to some folks if they've never played a game like, say, Card Hunter um, or even Hearthstone or what have you, any card based combat game. But depending on the class that you have and the equipment that you are carrying, as you can see here, I'm hovering over and there's various cards associated with each one of these items. 
will give you the deck that that particular uh, character has. So we look at Ed here right now. He's got a bunch of single shots where he's got two single shots. Then he's got double shot. He's got a strike, which is melee. Another strike, which is melee. Another one. Then he's got compliment because he's a leader, so he can boost other people. He's got the ability to recharge his defenses and he can inspire the team as well. So that's his current deck. And then if we go to say we our bruiser, he's got a completely different set of abilities. Provoking Strike probably being the most important one because we want him to draw damage because he's going to have the most shields and health. And then Empress, let's take a look. What does she have? Oh, she's got a lot of oh heavy strike. She's got a lot of combat stuff. Okay, cool. Craft Supply, draw four cards, choose one and discard the others. Oh, that's neat. Dirty Punch. Oh, I like it. <laughs> okay. So let's go get ourselves some contracts. Now these, as far as I know, are the same. This part is static, uh, but when you go onto the derelicts, which derelict you're going to go on and the derelicts themselves are randomly generated, which is kind of nice for replayability. So egging for science, we're looking for people that can basically find these worm guys, their eggs. Okay, we'll take that for 1500 CC. And then Honest Scrapping, Honest Hank wants us to get three intact T-Model Janitor robot heads. Okay, we can do that as well, or we can hope we can. Let's check out the pawn shop real quick, see if there's anything we actually want to try to buy. Oh, that's really nice. How much is that? Dude, stop talking. 404. Hmm. Whew. Wow, that stuff is expensive. Holy moly. I mean, I wouldn't mind having some of this stuff, but yeah, that is just way pricey. Okay. Well, it was nice chatting to you, chatting with you there, Pawn Shop guy. Mm, which one? Hold on. Let's take a look at our mission log. Derelict, find the location data aboard the Derelict Absolution, but where are the quests at? Okay, it's on the Rorori or whatever. All right, that's where we're going then. Which is this derelict. And it doesn't cost anything. Uh, I don't know if at some point it does. This kind of implies that it would be. I mean, it says free travel on the authority of the sub-governor, so maybe not, but... I've never been charged. So... But you do have to keep really steady look on your... Um, on your, your money, because... 1400 credits might seem like a lot, but it's not like if you get beat up really bad like in that overview video I did I think at the end of it like everybody was like half dead and I had to spend like all my money just to get healed up So just you know can't keep that in mind And it is a roguelike so when you're done you're done. Yep um, Okay, let's open the PDA and Zoom out so we have 100 energy you can see right here We can scan for five energy which will give us more data around the immediate area and you can see here, self, this is us, friendly, loot, hostile, exit, energy source. Close that up. You've got to get back to this location before you completely run out of energy or the game's over. Yeah, don't do that. So these red areas are unexplored. And this is probably, this kind of a setup is probably going to be familiar to people that have played games like Darkest Dungeon. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, move here. Oh, some loot, maybe. Nice. We got a mental tool for plus nine mental, 8% recycle. We got a weapon mod. Oh, hey, we'll take that. Nice. All right, so let's talk about that a little bit. What does that mean? So we got a level two mental tool. Um. Well, it means that you're going to get abilities that are matched up. So that would be for the leader. They're sort of matched up to complement what they do. So, Rakhar Growl, either fear for one turn, 75% chance, or minus 20% damage for one turn. Oh, wow, that's nice. What's he got off his current tool? Compliment. And then Ancient Speech, confused target for one. Oh, I'd much rather have that. Oh, he can't use it yet. Right, because he's level one. Darn it. Okay, well, we'll just put this down here and we'll hold on to it. And what about the weapon mod? We can use that, right? 16% chance of drawing a card when shooting 
with linked core. Oh, okay. Purging shot. We want him to have it. I think our better shooty person is actually Empress. Yeah, she has more range shoot shoot cards. All right, let's let's put it on her weapon. Why 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 can't you put it on her weapon? Oh, light range weapon mod. Okay, we can't. It has to go on his. Okay, well, better than nothing. That's a nice start. All right, let's go ahead and scan the immediate area. An encounter up here. Fragile organics detected. Oh, ancient eyes. These guys are actually... <laughs> I fought them before. They look like, oh, they're not that big a deal, but they're like super hard to hit. I really like this. So this art style is throughout the entire game, sort of like this, I don't know, comic book-esque. It's probably love it or hate it. I really like it, so... To each their own, but uh, turn-based combat, as I mentioned on the onset of the video. And then you can see that we're drawing from our card pool. Let's see. Okay, we're going to do Provoking Strike, which hopefully will taunt them all to him. Headbutt, so now some of his abilities are not going to be... He's confused. Won't have access to some of his abilities now. There's a lot of different effects that you can do. Um, matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and Inspire to give all our friends a chance to draw an extra card and potentially an extra action. Draw four cards, choose one, and discard the others. That's... That's pretty cool. Extra cards can be played during a single turn. That is neat. I don't think I'm going to use it right this second, though. Hundred percent weapon damage and thirty-three percent miss chance to a single target for two turns. Oh, neat! And then burst fire three times, two to three. Um, let's go for that actually. So since he was confused, he just did his own thing. I'll talk more about the initiative system here in just a second, as soon as it comes back up. Okay, so... As you can see, as I hover over someone, there's a little triangle over their head. So we got Ed, we got Empress, we got Wii, and you can see initiative 5, 4, and 3, respectively. And then who we're fighting right now both have 8, well, 8 and 1, actually. So you can see... or 8 and 7, so you can see where they are in the initiative pool. This allows you to plan different um, attacks, be it stuns, dazes, confuse, what have you. Or you can, like, you know, focus fire on this one because he's going to be up next and he only has five health. Make those kinds of decisions. Let's see. Okay, we'll do single strike. Oh, evaded. I told you these guys are hard to hit. There we go. Nice. Okay, and then over here you've got the blue shield right here, which is actually your shields. And then the underneath part, the red part, is your health pool. Now, some some attacks can actually just go straight through shields, puncture attacks. And depending on what shows up, like right there, you saw the eight in blue, which meant it went to its shields and not to its health pool. What's purging shot do? 60% damage, purge positive effects from target. Oh, okay. Oh. Interesting. You don't have anything that does more than five, huh? All right, well, let's do this craft supply thing then. Oh, that is cool. Um, let's grab this, please. Yes, burst fire will work nicely. Well, if it didn't evade. <laughs> Single strike. Nice, there we have it. Got a little bit of XP. Okay, so... I guess let's continue this way. Now, we have to be mindful of our energy. See, we're down to 74. We gotta get back to the exit before we uh, run out or game over. All 
That's why I tend to not use the scan feature. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on is it worth it or not. I guess if you get a really good scan, it's worth it. Here, we'll scan again. Like, that was pretty good. But, like, if you scan in, like, an area where it's, like, kind of closed off or whatever, it's it's not. Oh, what are you? I've never fought you before. Cobra. Okay. Interesting. So many different mob types in this game, too, which is really cool. Do we want to inspire, or do we want to just start shooting? Let, let, let's inspire. Dirty Punch, 100% weapon damage, and then the enemy has a 30%, 33% miss chance to a single target for two. Yeah, let's do that. Dirty Punch. Yeah! Right in the face. Oh, she gets to go again because she's inspired? Perfect. Um, Let's do Craft Supply. Will the effects stack? I wonder. Let's find out. Let's do Dirty Punch again. Let's grab that card. Doing this for science, right? Uh, it would appear that they do. So this Cobra lady has got negative 66% to hit. Well, or negative 66% chance, or negative 66%? A 66% chance to miss. That complex maths is tough for me. <laughs> Provoking strike. Uh, single shot is fine. Regeneration, huh? Is that a heal or is that... What is that doing for you? It doesn't just says regeneration. So you're going to heal next turn then? I don't think it's going to matter. We're going to burst fire you right now. And... Good night, hopefully. There we go. What do we get? An 11 damage precision range weapon. Plus one crit range mod and 14% stagger chance melee mod. Wow, okay. Nice. Okay, so we gotta give that, I think. We gotta give the stagger mod. Yeah, that's gotta go here. So he picks up charge strike. 200% weapon damage attack is delayed till next turn. Oh, okay. But still, that's 19 damage? Holy moly. It's pretty solid, right? Help you take down like a... Help you focus fire something down for sure. Okay, Empress. You've got an assault ranged weapon. Got a light ranged firearm. Do you want to keep that? Or do you want to move to... Because couldn't we do this? Let's see. And use a precision? You can use a precision weapon, okay. And then we give you the laser sight on top of it, so you get the vulnerability shot, and then you pick up... What's that? Why is that in red? Where it says 13? What is that? I'm not sure why there's that number over that. Hmm... Hold on, let's see if that's maybe stat-based. So what happens if we give it... Oh, it's the same thing there. Okay, that, that's weird. That's the damage it's gonna do? Does 80% of damage. Oh, okay, alright, let's... Alright, that's fine. Okay, you take that back. Okay, and then we've got light range weapon mod, right, and the pistol, but I don't think we're going to use that, so. Okay, let's continue. How many to get back? 13, okay. Your shiny stuff will be mine, oh yes! Oh, you think so? Do you think so? Well, come get it then, come get it. 
Okay, unit with active reaction fires at melee attackers before attack happens. Oh, okay, these guys are ranged, so that's not going to help us a whole lot, I don't think. I think we'll just inspire. Hey now, settle down with those. That's a little bit much there. Take it easy. Let's see, who's next? You, you're next? Okay, we'll go after you. You got the lower health pool anyway. Um, heavy strike. Chance to stun. Let's see if we got anything else we can use. Dirty punch. Yes, yes, we like the dirty punch. There you go. Now you're debuffed. We like it. That didn't help us, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, charge strike at that guy. And it's delayed a turn, so what we could do is we could debuff that guy in anticipation of that. Anybody got a good debuff we could use? Yeah, 125% uh, weapon damage and minus 15 damage resistance for two turns. So let's hit him with that. And then that that big shot that we're going to get off of... Uh, there, right there. Boom, critical hit. That was a nice combo. Good job, Wee. Let's see. Oh, and now he still gets his attack, his regular attack. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Hey, provoking strike. See, how's your sh your shields are fine. So I guess we'll just do single strike because we don't have any way to debuff that guy. Nice, another critical hit. I guess five percent chance to stun's better than no chance to stun. Yeah, you got a self charge. Shield's getting too low, buddy. These guys are pretty tough. Uh, I think we stun him for... Yeah, let's stun him for a turn. We actually get the stun? We did. Okay. Compliment, self recharge. Um. Here we go. We'll compliment her. Empress, you're such a badass. Nice. Okay, and you self-charge again. And the reason I'm doing that again, I think I mentioned, is because you can't heal up. As far as I know, you can't use your abilities outside of combat, so it's not like you can self-recharge. So you want to do it a little bit while you're in combat, which is very reminiscent of of like Darkest Dungeon, where you would continue another turn to try to get a heal off or whatever. It's the same kind of concept. Uh Let's use this craft supply a bit again. Oh, nice. Good job. Energy blade mod. Oh, look at that. That's pretty sexy. And range percentage. Okay, okay. Take that. Okay, inventory. Now he's got... One mod. We can stack this, right? I think we can. No, we can't. Precision range mod. Can you only have one? Is that the deal? Level one precision ranged weapon. Oh, it's an actual weapon. Derp. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So that doesn't help me. Put that back on there. there yeah, okay. Let's see. Well, 
What else did we get? Energy Blade mod. No, that's a... Right? That won't go for him, because that's a, considered a different class of weapon. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. But... Empress has... Heavy Strike, which is the Power Glove, which is technically using... It's using this, so if that's modded, it would add damage, right? In theory? Nope, because it's got to be an actual blade. Does anybody have a blade? Well, you do! Alright. Put that right there, I guess. So, Wide Strike, Single Strike. Wide Strike, look at that, that's cool. Does 100% damage to three adjacent targets. Nice! Very nice. Okay. We can do just a little bit more exploring, not much. Oh, another Cobra Lady. All right. Oh, 24 puncture. See, that went right through the shield. Oh, down to six. That's, whoo. Yeah, how you like that? Back at you, huh? A charge strike, which will land next turn. And should finish her off. Wham! There you go. Whew. Okay, energy blade and a level three power glove. Ooh, that's really nice. Can't use it yet. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure we can't, right? No, I can't use it yet, because we're not level three. But we'll hold on to that, that's nice. And I think what we're gonna do, since we're kinda messed up... You know what, let's scan. Oh, there's some loot right there. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know we gotta go back. Let's grab this. Whatever it is. Scavenging tool? Okay, we'll take that. And let's... Let's get out of here. And we can come back, you know, as many times as we want. Is At least, that's what it seems like to me from the limited amount of time I have played the game so far. Okay, and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end this one here. When we come back in the next one, we'll get healed up, we'll sell some stuff, we'll look at our equipment, kind of how close we are to promotion and all that. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of uh, Let's Try uh, Deep Sky Derelicts. And if you have, consider hitting that thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the community, you know, hey, you can you can click the, the you know, beep, beep, click the subscribe button and you can become a member of uh, the, the malcontent community and you'd be welcome to do so. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal and I will see you later.